Hey guys, I'm playing the chess.com character bots. We're in the advanced section now and up to 1600 and we've got Joel. Now the previous 1600 rated bot, Pablo, uh, was not uh, 1600 at all. So uh, we'll see if Joel is any stronger than that. Okay, so I'm just going to play my standard black lion against d4, c4. Push the pawn. Okay, so he's doing his King's Indian setup on that side, which is fine, fine by me. I need to bring my queen to here as an extra defender of this pawn. <clears throat> okay, queen there. And now. Okay, so the queen's now attacking this potentially weak pawn here. Now, if I move my knight around, I can move my knight now because this pawn's protected by the queen. Now I can play my bishop to here and chase the queen away. Right, so that queen is now out of trouble. Without causing me any trouble anyway. So now I can bring my knight around here. Well, no, I can't. That's the problem. The f4 square is where it wants to go. Um, uh, knight to here. I just need to think about different attacking options now on the on the king side. I think pawns will play a part. See this this pawn is defended right now by the queen, so I think this knight move should be all right. And now if I move this knight, it's defended twice, attack three times. Okay, so he does have a free pawn there, yeah. Okay, so I've, I've lost a pawn in that, but this will make a mess of his structure now. Right, so now we need to take stock. What's undefended? That's defended, that's all right. That's defended. That's defended by the king. That's undefended. Okay, so one idea is just to push these pawns up. I could play my knight to here to defend that pawn. I think that looks pretty good. I can't castle immediately because the queen's looking at this pawn here. So let's just push that pawn forwards. If it pushes, okay, this is all right. Okay, so now he's got two attackers on that pawn, so let's add another defender. Now he's attacking that, that's all right. And this one, that's all right, they're both covered. So let's push here and defend that pawn. So it's a very open game. Really got to watch your step now. Can I castle? I think that's safe enough. He does have this kind of pawn majority here. Uh, if takes a pawn, he recaptures, then the pawn is defending the rook. So I thought I might be able to get a rook there, but I can't. I, nope. So let's pull my rook up. Another defender on this knight. And he's pushed forwards. Okay. Um, I think I can capture safely. Got four defenders on that. Wow. Okay. Block. Let's exchange. So we, we've now got a, uh, a solo bishop versus solo knight situation, and that quite often favours the knight. And the reason is because his bishop is stuck on one colour, so if I can 
get all my pieces onto light squares, then we might be able to evade the bishop. I've got two open files, so I want to I want to get my knight out of the way and get my rooks covering these open files. Um, can go there. It's not really attacking that pawn. Oh, I've dropped a pawn. Okay, now here. Right, he's taken my knight. Interesting. Okay. Remember, the bishop is still covering that square. So. Rook to here is attacking two pawns. Let's take one. Now I do have a check on the back rank, if I need it. <clears throat> right, I'm behind on pawns, but I'm ahead on pieces. Okay. Now, I can't defend that pawn easily. I can go here. If I can manage to sweep up another couple of pawns, I'll be quite happy. I right, want to keep on light square, so let's put my rook on a light. No, can't do that. Because if I put my rook there, he's got rook to here, protected by the bishop. King has to move, and then he grabs my rook. So I need to keep my rooks on the opposite colour. Okay, so this rook is now tied to the defence of that pawn. So maybe I can come up. No, I can't do that. Um, so if I allow him to capture that pawn, I get this pawn. I can, I can grab this one, can I, for free? Now, what's the point of that move? Drops another pawn, surely. Yep. And he goes there. Right, now we're a bit more equal. He's got one extra pawn, but he does have doubled and separated pawns. If I check, he will simply put his king here. Then what do I do? Right, I need to get my king into the action somehow. Remember, just keeping keeping on the light squares. Need to watch this guy as well. Okay, you can go there now. So I think I'm kind of all right so far. Hmm. Can I bring my king over and maybe think about defending my pawn, base of my pawn structure with my king? Okay, still on the light square, so all good. So this bishop now is just passing through everything. It can't actually attack. So now what I need to do is I need to use my rooks together. Oh, that's a good move. Oh, but now I can defend my pawn. I could have grabbed that pawn then. He declined. I can pin the bishop and then. I don't know. I'd like to get a rook into there, that'd be a nice square to get a rook in. Let's try this. on dark square, so I need to do something about that. Is he going to swap off rooks? He's going to swap off rooks. Okay, this is interesting because now I've got the only rook on the board. 
His bishop cannot touch that pawn. So I want to get my rook here where it's protected by the pawn. And now, this is looking kind of drawish really. Okay, grab a pawn. And now we want to come around, get the rook behind the pawn, try and push the pawn up to promotion. See on here, and the king can, okay. So if the king comes here now, my rook can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. That's the problem. That's a good move. So let's attack the bishop. I can win, potentially, with a rook and a king against a king. So that's defending the pawn now, x-ray defense, and now it can push forwards. And the king now cannot get through this force field. Okay, now, how can he win? The, there's only one dark square for my pawn to pass through, right? So to cover that, he's gonna have to put his bishop there. And that wouldn't work, because I, I literally take it, and then the pawn will dash to the line. Um, if he's allowed to do this, I simply capture it, so that's fine, and I think we're safe. Okay, if I can take that, it's absolutely fine, and now literally just the pawn will promote. So I think I was a little bit lucky there, I think he missed a couple of tricks. And then finally the rook will come across to h1 and mate. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky. I think this is a tricky, a tricky bot. I think he plays well. Um, uh, I've I've had a few games against this one, and uh, you know it's. Uh, I think sixteen hundred feels a lot more accurate for this bot. Um, but like like you saw, he he uh, he didn't pick up a free pawn when it was available there, but. Um, yeah, decent, decent opponent. So, you know, do not take this one lightly, for sure. Um, I think my, my, the first game that I played against him, I won fairly easily, uh, and, and that was a French defence that he played. Uh, but then I, you know, managed to to blunder pieces in about three or four, or, or get checkmated. So, yeah, definitely not one of the easier ones. And and um, this one, Joel, I think is is more accurately rated than some of the others so um how do you beat him you've you've got to you've got to be on your guard you, you really do i mean that game dissolved pretty quickly and got quite open quite sharp um and like i say i think i was pretty fortunate in the end but there you go it can be done you can beat joel and uh, that's one way of doing it i hope it's been interesting and i'll see you soon